This time in the first church, Banana Island, and this church only took over 200 years. We had the slaves, I mean, build them. And the time we, I mean, build this slave, that thing is cement's not been there for this block. Pass, we use, they use stone, then they use this oyster shell, and I mean, the cement. Yes, and I mean, the grind and use as cement for build the church. But now the church is not take over 200 years, so the people that we just can't take over the island and they will try to come and maintain again. So they just try to build one small one for the way they behind the wood to go and go show now. So now they're going to the dumping hole now. So much love to care. Tell them that they're missing now. Sing again. Salon the land that gave back to me. As long as I live. This year, this are the this are the whole time you dump the slaves them, the, the giant slaves them. We you know we grief for work, who are misbehaved. Then they can dump you life one, then the water take you right down to the sea. So what the water made the Yeah, the water made the pass. Now under be under mine. Oh, now, yes, now, 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 nothing make again because you don't full up with that. See, this whole long take over two hundred years now. Then you have the slave fort, and you have the slaves them in camp, and then we all place this. Yes, and then in camp there. Then some canons them in the end, beside the ship, they can't slam back for can't see the slaves there. Because the people are so hot for can't see the slaves there. Because one thing, we slaves them from Bont Island to Banana Island. And then they pull more slaves them. In Bont Island, Banana Island, they pull 500 slaves for going to South Carolina for to plant rice. Cultivation. And one thing, we will get the strongest slave in our Africa. So now we we'll go inside the village now. We we'll see some of the Portuguese well them we they mean dig at the island and some of the lamp holders them. And we we'll try for see the shabu for them to find this island. And try for see the churches them at the village. So we can go now. This are the Portuguese well. This. Yeah, I can't snap. This are the Portuguese well. Then, yeah, and then Bila. Then the other. Oh, shit. Uh, you know they see them, Wow. How do they use that? Yeah, we use that. Yeah. Spring water. Do you you see water? Yeah, it's cold. Tell them where you have ice. Do you need 18 cents to use? Yeah. I have been lamp all around there. Okay. So, them, them, they use them for many people in the sea for get water. But with oh, them, they use, oh, and they use this snail shell as lamp. You cannot even get lamp. Yeah. Then, they use this nut oil. Not, not, I mean, color not, I. Oh, yeah. yeah, because they normally get kerosene. So you oh. take the pieces and put on the, on the snail shell, then you take the natural and put on them, put them on light top, and then light them. So people then will see directly well, forget what's up for them. <laughs> yeah. This church, I'm doing the colonies this. I'm doing the colonies this. It's not Zion, not the biggest church this we mean they are doing the 18th century. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, not, it's, yeah, it's not the Zion churches. Zion, Zion not the biggest church. Why are we the Methodist?
This are this are my colonial beds. We use for that church we work to. Oh, for, yeah. for call the service. Yeah, for call the service. Oh, wow, this day on day out is how long? It's long, yeah. It's heavy, eh? Yeah, wow. We're here with Mrs. Daphne Olu Williams, who is one of the tourists on Banana Island today, courtesy of Visit Sierra Leone. Um, how did you find the tour? Oh, it was good. Okay. Um, entertaining, exciting, and for me, it's rejuvenating. Okay. You know, and um, one thing I like is that we have, you know, people of different ages. Mm -hmm. So for me, it was an uh, intergenerational work, <laughs> and me. I. I loved the, you know, the relics we saw, although, uh, you know, I feel a little bit sad that they're not very well preserved. Okay. What do you think um, can be done to better preserve? What are some of the ideas perhaps you have? I mean, did anything stick out to you? Uh, yes, I think more attention should be paid to these sites that we visited mm -hmm. to ensure that they're really demarcated mm -hmm. and um, taken care of, you know, the place should be clean. They need plaques. Uh, we see that uh, we have some stones, which indicates that there were buildings, but the buildings are no longer there. Right. We do not know. I mean, we have to keep guessing. Right. And one interesting thing is that even the villagers who are here get confused over some of the, the places, right. the names of even fruits that we see. So I think we are losing the history. Right. And for me, that is very sad. Okay. We need to preserve. It's such a beautiful place, such yeah. a big place. You know, a lot can be done. If you come all this way to this island, you should have things that you take back. Okay. You know, even um, um, maybe we need to have little um, gifts. Little gifts, yes. Banana Something Island that relics that this take you. shows you that you are in you Banana, went to Banana Island. island. Right. But we're going back now, except that, you know, we have lovely pictures. But we need gifts, souvenirs, right. souvenirs to take ago. back and mm -hmm. get the place a little bit, you know, I, I don't want to say clean, but more environmental friendly. Right. The way the vegetation is, it shows that it, it's a fertile ground. Right. So why don't we make use of the fertile right. soil, plant some fruit trees, right. you know. I so mean, basically to control what's already in the environment so that it's not like it looks like a jungle, you know what I mean? Like very raw. So exactly. if it's like better manicured, exactly. So that um, it's it's a more pictorial, pictorial exactly. experience. But but you know, I I think that there's a caveat here. Okay. We have to 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 make sure that we preserve, you know, the history. Mm -hmm. um, if we know there's a heritage, mm -hmm. we need to preserve it so that when people come. They would, you know, at least the history would not be lost. Right. It can be passed on to generation. Mm -hmm. What I see here is that even those who are taking us around, mm -hmm. it's like uh, we're playing a little bit of a guessing game. <laughs> not everybody's very sure of That's what it. really went on on Banana Island and what different things or remains mean and the stories. And That's even why is it called Banana Island? Right. You know, we're, we're I thought it was shaped like a banana. Some said like a bunch of bananas, <laughs> and other that you know it, it had a lot of banana trees. It so, does have a lot of banana yes, trees, but though. That why is was true. it called banana? Do you know? I, I don't even okay, know. Okay, maybe we'll find somebody else who knows. Tell me one thing you learned today about Sierra Leone that you didn't know from coming to Banana Island. Um, of course, like the some of the fruits I saw. Okay. Uh, we have the 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 monkey fruit. <laughs> The, which I, I've never seen before. Okay. And, and I think for me, the mm -hmm. message that I'm taking back mm -hmm. as to what I learned today, which is not even direct, but indirectly, in a subtle way, mm -hmm. uh, I've learned that we are losing 
a lot of vital information, vital history, mm -hmm. which we need to preserve okay. to ensure that you know it can be passed on to the generations yet to come. Okay, thank you. So thank you. Um, we found another tourist that's come on visits. Yes, you're all tourists. <laughs> Just because you're Australian and does not mean that you're you're tourists. You're okay, tourists okay. on Banana Island, um, courtesy of Visit Sierra Leone. And um, his name is Cecil Williams. And we want to know what is your impression of the island? What's your takeaway today? It's a beautiful island. I mean, like the lady said earlier, there's more that can be done to preserve like certain things. Because I never knew Banana Island was held slaves. Like okay. I was only aware that Bunce Island and right. these other islands. So there's more that can be done to preserve those monuments and stuff that slaves were held at so people can come and actually see mm -hmm. where our history comes from. But mm -hmm. other than that, it's a beautiful island, nice beaches, and more people should come. So you had a really good time? Great time. Okay, that's Good great. An understatement. <laughs> okay, all right. Um, we might have to charge you extra. <laughs> but thank you very much. It's a Vicky Ramo show, um, Banana Island, Freetown, Western Rural, Sierra Leone. I'm not sure I'd bring my little ones on a canoe, but for your young adult family, it's a great family trip. Learn a little bit about your history um, and kind of get a break from Freetown because we all know you can't even smell oxygen there anymore. The air is so polluted in Freetown. So we're happy to have a break from Freetown. Um, we're happy to have a little bit of Sierra Leone history from Banana Island, which um, up until the 17th century was settled by Portuguese people who came and built churches and wells and whatnot. And um, after the abolition of slavery, lots of free slaves settled it. And it's made up of three islands that actually make the bigger banana island. So we learned a little bit about our history. So thank you, it's Vicky Ramo Show, over and out, 2011, in the middle of the ocean. I hope the boat's not a stop. So we'll see you next time. Have a great day.